DaVinci Resolve 19, is it going to work on a less powerful tablet, right? Like uh, Surface Go 3? Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don. Today I'm going to try if I can run and export a video using my Surface Go 3. So this is a travel laptop, but this is not powerful. You can see that uh, the RAM is only 8 gig and then uh, it's i3 memory at uh, CPU at 1.3 gigahertz at uh, 6, 1.61. So this is not powerful and uh, DaVinci Resolve is not supposed to run here, uh, especially if you're looking at like an 18. But 19 just came out, although it's a better version. But I just wanted to try and see if it works or not. So let's uh, close this or minimize this for now. So I have uh, a few video clips here, which is from my work I travel. And I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve 19 and see if it works. And I'm not going to make the video too long. Let's make it like two to four minutes. Uh, and we're going to try to export in 4K. And you can see that I have uh, my files, uh, which are right here in SanDisk uh, uh, external hard drive, uh, because this is the, like, you know, it's, it doesn't have enough memory to actually hold uh, lots of uh, clips. So that's why I'm using ex an external uh, hard drive. So I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve 19 and let's see what happens after that. Okay, so looks like it's uh, opening uh, and this is a better version. I haven't installed this on my main computer, which is uh, Surface, uh, I forgot which version, but it's like you know, very powerful. It has like 32 gig RAM. So I'm still running the uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, 18th on my 32 gig RAM computer. But on this computer, uh, which has only 8 gig, I just got curious and wanted to see if it really works. So what we're going to do, let's uh, open up a template and I'm going to open this up and just like, you know, drag and drop some uh, clips from the external hard drive. So let's, looks like it's opening. Okay, so it crashed. Okay, so it crashed, let's see, let's try again. Uh, I'm not sure if it's crashing because of the less powerful uh, laptop or this is because it's a better version so I'm going to try to do it again and see if this works. Okay, so we got it again. And okay, so I have some media offline, which is fine. I'm just going to like, you know, I was testing before, but I didn't uh, end up running it or exporting it. So I'm just going to delete these and export files from this external hard drive and let's put it in here so what do you have here this one is like 340 megabyte so let me just put it in here okay so we got something 340 and then i'm going to take another clip which is going to be right here and how many you have we have like one two minutes let's put in another one uh, because when you travel, uh, or usually you're not going to make too long video. That's what I do. Uh, I just like, you know, do quick publishing and I just like, you know, uh, do two, three, four minutes video. So, so far we have this one. Uh, let's see what we have. So I'm not familiar with like, you know, hundred percent yet, uh, DaVinci Resolve 19. I just installed it. I haven't tried it yet. But so you can see that this is like a four minute video, uh, which is not bad. Uh, so I'm just going to go to the export page, which exactly looks like uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, 18. So, and this is a 4K, these are 4K clips, uh, or I'm also exporting 4K. So let's see, so let's go to the export uh, section. And you can see that these are my export settings so this is a text export from surface go 3 okay so i'm just going to keep it here and you can see that this is 4k here and i do like in a heavy bit rate uh, for my regular video but for this one i'm going to reduce from 150 kbps to just 50 because i, I don't need 150 so let's make it just 50 and that should be good enough so I'm going to add it to the render queue. Now we have it here. Uh, now let me just try and hit the button. 
and see what happens. Uh, let's see. So render and looks like it's rendering. Uh, okay, it shows uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so I think it's not. Oh, okay. Looks like it's working now. Actually, I didn't notice where I was going to render, but here looks like desktop. Okay, so I'm putting it on desktop. Uh, hopefully desktop has enough memory uh, for this render. So you can see that it's not actually bad. It looks like fast. One minute, seven seconds. Is it? Oh, sorry. Is it one hour or one minute? Nine minutes. Oh, okay. No, I think that's one hour, eight minutes. Okay, so that's rather long time, but let's see what happens eventually. So you got 1% right now and okay so yeah it's exporting slowly that i can tell because it shouldn't be taking like one hour but at least at least it's doing the job so and also i changed the bit rate from 150 to only 50 but still this is 4k so this is a bit slow so I'm just going to, uh, you know, pause the video here uh, and then we'll come back when we are close to the end and see if it works. So guys, after about 40 minutes, looks like we are close to the end and you can see that it seems to be exporting fine. 10 more, 10 more seconds remaining. So this is going to end right now and we're going to take a look at the clip. Okay, so it has ended. 99% so you have to just wait when it says complete right here so let's just wait a few more seconds and we should have the clip on desktop and you can see that this is done so I'm just going to minimize this and I'm just going to find the clip on desktop now okay I see it right here and let me look at the size so we have 1.94 gigabyte and this is 5 minute 24 seconds so let me try to open this and see what happens so we want that part and taking this on my both hands it looks like you got a small 7-eleven uh, right there Okay, so it just did fine. I don't see any issue here. And this is since from my Boracay trip, which I have a video on the Boracay uh, on the Philippines uh, playlist. Okay, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just exit because it did the job. So I choose uh, 50 uh, from 150 to 50 KB. Uh, PS or KBS uh, for quality uh, and then this is a 4k export and then you can see that it's taking a little bit longer time so it was like uh, 40 minutes 45 minutes but still it did the job and it didn't like you know crash or anything so I'm just surprised that you know uh, the DaVinci Resolve 19 can work on a very low powerful um, tablet laptop like uh, this is uh, Surface Go 3 which only has 8 gig RAM so I'm just, uh, you know, shocked and I'm surprised, but definitely it's, uh, it works, but it's going to take slightly longer, which is fine. Uh, and just one thing that, you know, make sure that you have enough battery because uh, you can see that the battery is almost like, you know, half at half percent at 48%. Uh, so it takes a lot of battery if you are not connected to a power outlet. So this was my conclusion that uh, DaVinci Resolve 19 works on a low power, uh, tablet or laptop like Surface Go 3 with 8 gig RAM and uh, so definitely they did uh, some changes because with our older version of DaVinci Resolve this would not have been possible so for example if you have 18, 17 or anything this is just simply not possible that it can run on a tablet laptop like this so for the next tips and tricks video I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching